Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And as we continue exploring your answers and what would be probably one of the best ideas and uh, what maybe would be cool to have in Windows 12 that Microsoft could implement and make us kind of, you know, understand that that maybe is something we'd like to see and the changes we'd like to have. Um, obviously, it's, you know, there's a lot of things that people would like changed. Of course, the uh, probably one of the most popular uh, features, one of the most popular things that people have mentioned about Windows 12 is better customization of the start menu and of the taskbar, of course. One of the biggest problems of Windows 11 is this. It's the fact that um, they redesigned the taskbar and start menu from scratch. And, of course, they kind of didn't have the time to maybe add stuff that should be there. Um, you know, we're still stuck with that recommended um, emptiness if you don't want to use it. And it's kind of dumb to have that like that. You know, for years we had a Windows operating system, including Windows 10, that was pretty customizable. You could change, remove the tiles, change the size of the start menu, change the way it is. Uh, one of the things I see a lot of people hating is the fact that when they require to be all apps, which is, you know, the good old app list like we have, used to have before, it doesn't stay like that. It, you know, if you go off and you come back to your start menu, it's coming back to that look with pinned apps and all of that. This is annoying a lot of people. And I totally understand because that part, the start menu, is so critical to you know, going into what we want in the system, that having it customized to our liking is important. So, and a lot of people don't like the empty spaces and, you know, the fact that you can't resize it really, uh, it's, it's a little dumb and definitely that's missing. A lot of other things, of course, about the taskbar that can't be moved anywhere else on the screen, stuff like that. Um, and it, it makes people go to what? It makes people go to using uh, apps like the Starduck apps for, you know, customizing the interface. And it's a funny thing is that uh, Microsoft says, you know, well, you know, it's very, especially that weird and, and dumb comment that they made that, oh, well, you know, customizing this, the, the interface and the start menu is, is difficult and moving the taskbar could break things and, yeah, but uh, you got third-party apps <laughs> that actually do bring back all of those functionalities. They just reprogram the whole interface, and you know, they even bring back Windows 10 look and feel in Windows 11. So, you know, when Microsoft comes up and says a dumb comment like that, you're like, yeah, you know, why don't you just... It's better to say we don't want to do it. Honestly, I'd be better if they just said... Oh, we, we don't want to do it. We don't want we don't want things like that. Then say, oh well, you know, it's so complicated that it's like no, it's like you just look dumb saying something like that. So of course, very high on the list, the customization of all of the start menu taskbar is definitely one of the priorities that a lot of you would like to see change in Windows 12. And let's hope that Windows 12 will bring a lot of improvements on that side. I think that is really needed. Because um, it does feel like we have a step back from Windows 10 to Windows 11 in that uh, aspect, the customization options we lost. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.